여러분 안녕하세요 헬로 굿모닝 모니카님 안녕하세요 6 o'clock in India 김글로리님 You changed your name or is it a different person? 글로리님 안녕하세요 강인님 인드라님 안녕하세요 사비나님, 마노즈, 샤르마님, 시원님 안녕하세요. 엘른님, 액토르님 안녕하세요. 오레트님, 난디니님, 조나스님, 리사님 안녕하세요. 제 목소리 들려요? Can you hear me well? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Is everything working? 네, 들려요? I'm fine? Okay. 잘 지내세요? Are you doing well? I'll type what I'm saying in the chat. 메가나님, 안녕하세요. 월다님, is that how I pronounce your name? 잘 지내세요? How's everyone doing? My hair looks crazy today. Okay, so what if you want to say I'm good, either I'm doing well or just I'm good. How can you put that in all you are you ending that we learned? Ajis님 안녕하세요. Ajisai장님 안녕하세요. Oh, Ryan님 안녕하세요. Happy Friday. <laughs> 즐거운 금요일이에요. 금요일 in Korean, people usually say 불금. Have you heard of it? 들어봤어요? 불금? It's fire Friday because you fire up and party. Well, used to, not anymore, right? So people call 불금, 불금이에요. 안녕하세요, 줄피님. 잘 지냈어요, 인드라님. 어, 배아님, 잘 지내요. 좋아요. 어, before we start, then let's talk about some reviewing. 어, 배아님, 다음 월요일은 제 생일이에요. It's your birthday next Monday. 어, 생일 축하해요. I know, 라이언님. His birthday is also coming up. My mom's birthday is also coming up. Happy spring birthday season. 들은 적 없어요? You haven't heard? 붉음? 네, 붉음. Fire Friday party! That's why people say 붉음이에요. We should go do something. Friday night. It's like TGIF. Okay. 졸려요. <laughs> Melo Jello Nim Julio, you're uh, sleepy. Joya Tichi Nim, Anyasio. Monica Nim, difference between. So hold on to the questions. After we look at the irregular ones, we'll have a little QA session where you guys can ask any questions you have. Okay? So let's wait a little for the questions. I'm bringing the microphone a little closer to me. 안녕하세요, 안겔님. 어, 줄피님, what time is it now at your place? It's 9.04. 아홉 시예요. 아침 아홉 시, morning. 아침 아홉 시예요. 에나님, 안녕하세요. 마리카님, 안녕하세요. 좋은 아침이에요. 재림 선생님, 잘 지내세요. I'm using my laptop so I can't write in Hangul. Actually, <clears throat> it's easy to install Korean keyboard even if you're not gonna see the Hangul letters on the keyboard. If you change your language setting, if you go to language and um, click on keyboard, you can always add keyboards. And then just with uh, Alt or on the bottom of your 
computer screen, you can switch between keyboards easily these days. And if you need the Hangul patches uh, online, you should be you know, easily easily finding the cover with the uh, Hangul for keyboards for everyone if you want to use it without actually having Hangul keyboard. 안녕하세요, 아가트님, 아가테님. <laughs> Ryan Nim, 6 a.m. here. I know it's early, so at least with the daylight savings, I guess. Uh, I know it's still bad. Daylight savings confuse me. 안녕하세요, 전서연님. 맞아요? 마르코님, 안녕. 안녕하세요. Uh, what is the meaning of 좋아? Is it good or I like? Uh, it's Good, it's adjective. 안녕하세요, 사하나님. Okay. 늦었냐? 늦었어요? No, you're not. 안 늦었어요. Daylight saving time? 네, 저도요. And I'm sleepy. <laughs> 배안님 2시에요. 자스님, 자스민님, 안녕하세요. 손님? Is that how I will pronounce it? 안녕하세요. Okay, 여러분. When I ask how are you, you said 잘 지내요, which we learned. So let's just uh, briefly go over what's the rule for 좋다, which is literally meaning good. It's an adjective to be good. And that is why we use it to talk about our preference to say, it's good to me, I like it, but it's not a verb, it's adjective. The weather is nice. This color is nice. That's 좋다. So how do you change this to all are ending? We delete the dictionary ending ta. If you have random questions, wait for the Q&A session after we finish this. And you get the stem. And when you see the vowel o or a, which are bright vowels, we match it with a, right? Chua. That's why it's chua or chuayo. So that's one rule, the major rule, right? Bright vowels come with a. And all the other vowels come with o. Right? So, 좋아 opposite. Boo. 뭐예요? What is it? Uh, 전 서연님 uh, and 아칸샤님. Yeah, if you have Questions wait until after every, we cover everything. So, 좋아, 나쁘다 works too when you want to say uh, bad. But let's look at this one first. 싫다, which is. 부. So, 싫다 is also adjective, dislikable. Eh. It's hard to translate into English, but both are adjectives. Something is preferable, something is not preferable, not likable, okay? So when you delete the dictionary ending ta and look at the stem, we see e, which is not the bright vowel o or a, then we put o, shiro. That's why we say shiro, right? So we looked at this and how when there's no pachim, no last consonant on the bottom, how it contracts, right? Ka, kayo, cha, chayo, jineda, jineyo, oda, wayo, boda, bayo, right? To give, juda, joyo. So now let's look at irregular ones, okay? Shiro is an adjective, yes. Always remember, everyone, 좋아 and 싫어 are adjectives. So you always use with 이가. 
something is good, something is not good personally, basically. Okay, okay, let's today look at the ones that change irregularly. Okay, so 크다 is to be big. Okay, and let's look at the stem. We do not see a or o, right? So instead of a, we will put o, right? So it's actually 크어요. Can you try to say this really fast as if you were having a conversation? United States is really big. 미국은 진짜 커요. 커요. It kind of just sounds like 커요. 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 So, the rule is if the stem ends with u and there's no va uh, no consonant on the bottom it just becomes o okay so we don't say koyo no we say koyo yes okay so change u to o kuda koyo oh you know another word that has same rule. To be pretty, the dictionary form is 예쁘다. Okay, 예쁘다. Look at the last syllable of the stem. Here, it ends with 으. Can you change this to all a uh, ending? How would you say 예쁘다 in all a uh, conversational uh, ending? Type it in even if you see other people typing in. So then you get practice as well. 네, 예뻐요. 예뻐요. 좋아요. 사비나님 gave another example of 쓰다. I introduced this both, I think, on in Instagram and YouTube, right? Sida has, what, four or five different meanings. So, Sida to write, Sida to use something, Pun Sida, or to put on something on the head, right? Sida. Um, how would you change that Sida? I use my phone all the time. 폰 폰, Maruko님, I have that coming up. If you have questions of conjugation, it's probably coming up. Cell phone, 폰 and we'll change 쓰다 verb to use to 네, 써 or 써요, 폰 써요 I use phone a lot is phone. 많이 써요. 많이 is adverb meaning a lot that comes before a verb. 폰 많이 써요. I use phone a lot. Okay, 좋아요. So 예쁘다 becomes 예뻐요. 으 becomes 어. But here, look. If there is a bright vowel o or a before u, then the bright vowels always make the following vowels bright. You know, brightness. We talk about how darkness cannot, you know, push other darkness, right? Only the light. So the brightness comes in and make everything bright. So that's what we are going to do. And to be busy in Korean is 바쁘다. 바쁘다. To be busy. There is 으 here. So we would have changed to 바뻐요. But there is 아 here. 
brightness, light comes in and make everything bright. And so instead of 바쁘다, it becomes 바빠. We match the bright vowels. 바빠요. Does that make sense so far? 바빠요. Instead of 바빠요, but have you heard people actually saying, oh, 너무 바빠? People say it, but they know it's not correct conjugation. Oh, 너무 바빠. 요즘 너무 바빠. I'm so busy these days. In colloquial conversations, people might say it, but if you ask them to write something, they know the correct form is 바빠. So Mariko Nim earlier said, why is hungry not 배고파, 배고파, right? So hungry is 배고프다, the dictionary form, right? Ryan Nim, 바쁘세요? 저요? 네, 바빠요. When you're asking about other people, like Ryan Nim typed, you can ask 바쁘세요 instead. But it's a different ending, so I'm not gonna explain it right now. So, 배고프다 means to be hungry. 배 literally means stomach. So you are saying my stomach is empty, hungry. Okay. People also use I am hungry for love. 사랑이 고파요. So 고프다, right? We delete 다 first of all. And there is u underneath, right? So do we change to a? But oh wait, there is brightness. O. So we will match with this o and make it bright. That's why it becomes pe ko pa. Polite yo. Pe ko pa yo. Okay. Pe ko pa yo. That's why it's 배고파요. Another one, to be sick in Korean. Do you know what to be sick is? Or have you heard people say, oh, it hurts? How do you say, oh, it hurts or I'm sick? Yeah, to be sick or to hurt is 아프다. I know you guys are good, so. 아. And then we delete this 으 to change it to either 어 or 아. Oh, there is brightness. So we'll make it bright. That's why it becomes 아파요 or 아파. Easily, you can put... What hurts here? I have headache. So you can just say, oh, 머리 아파요. Oh, 머리 아파요. Oh, I have stomach ache. 배 아파요. That's it. 머리 아파. Oh, 머리 아파. Oh, 배 아파. My heart hurts. 마음이 아파요. 마음 is figurative heart. 마음이 너무 아파요. Toothache. Uh, 이가 아파요. So for humans, it's just 이. Okay? For animals, we say 이빨. But you'll hear people saying 이빨 for people too. But technically, only 이 is for humans. If you say 이빨, it's for animals for leg <laughs> so that's the difference so you can say oh 이 아파 but you'll hear people say oh 이빨 아파 등 아파 my back hurts another thing you hear a lot is oh my lower back oh 허리 허리 아파 oh 허리 아 허리 아파 so that's the rule so the light brings light 
Bright vowels make everything bright. Hurry up, Pao, Shonim. Okay, so let's make a sentence. Okay, remember the sentence order was word order was subject and like a telling a story. Once upon a time, 옛날 옛날에 long time ago. So when the time comes, and then in a small village, where. Comes and then object and adverb comes right before verbs. So how would you say I am these days a little busy? To give you the vocabulary you need, these days is 요즘 and 아이고 and a little bit is 조금. Or shorten, jump. Hmm, Anna, Nim, 좋아요. 네, 강인 님도 좋아요. So you say again. There are two eyes, right? Just in case you guys forgot, uh, na is plain. So there's no politeness, there is no humbleness, just na. So you use this to your friends or close family. And cho is humble, form of I, which means that cho matches perfectly with polite endings like yo or sumnida. So to make it polite, I say all of you are saying it in polite, chonin, which can shorten to 전, like Jonah's name just uh, typed in. 저는, 전, 조, 요즘, these days, 조금 바빠요. And 조금 can shorten to 좀. 저는 요즘 좀 바빠요. If you're talking to your friends and don't have to be polite to the listener, then you can say 나 or 나는 or you can just omit subject. If it's obvious you're talking about yourself, 요즘 좀 바빠. 나 요즘 좀 바빠. 나는 요즘 좀 바빠. Or it's obvious I'm talking about me, just 요즘 좀 바빠. 저는 요즘 조금 바빠요. Okay, 좋아요. <clears throat> so, 오, 아, when there's 오, 아, we change 으 to 아, match. Brightness. All right. So we looked at just u, right? But there's another irregular. It's a little more developed with this u. Instead of just u vowel, what if the last syllable of the stem is ru? And you know a lot of words that it have that has this because uh, there is tarda to be different, parda to be fast. 배 부르다 to be full. They all have this 르. Okay? So when you see this 르, like 빠르다 to be, not to be busy, sorry, 여러분. Not, no, not to be busy, to be fast. 미안해요. I must have not changed that text box. Not busy, we're talking about fast. 빠르다, to be fast. So there's 르, right? So the rule is <clears throat> you would have changed if we followed 으 uh, form, the conjugation rule. We would have changed it to 빠라요, right? But if it's 르, you have another thing to do. We add another liul underneath in the preceding syllable. So it becomes palayo instead of parayo. Okay? So that's the rule. Um, one more time. Let me show you one more example. So if it ends with lu, right? First of all, we do follow that rule of either changing u to or a okay so you'll see either law or la 
there, but you add one more layer underneath. Okay, so we just looked at Palayo. Let's look at Hungary. Pay, uh, not Hungary, obviously, that's me. Full, not Hungary. Pe puruda. Okay, pe is stomach. Puruda is to be full. Okay, so. Lu will become what? La or la here? Would you change it to la or la? Kangin nim, e bobun, bob is law, e kutik rule. Kutikin, myong tingi in nail. Does this uh, rule have a name? Uh, it's called ru pulgutik, lu irregular. Ne, so we would change it to law, right? Because you do not see the bright vowel o or a. But instead of just saying puro, we add one more, pullo. That's why we say, oh, 배불러, 배불러요. One more example. To be different. 다르다. Okay. And we add 아. Okay. Uh, we, we, we delete 다. And then we change this 으. To a right because there is a we are matching a but that's not all of it we put another lil and so that's why you say it's different. 달라요. 한국하고 미국은 달라요. Korean culture, American culture are different. 달라 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 이지 네 맞아요 달라요. Uh, Marco Nim just said some words don't need to add another lil del uh, that applies to all the irregular ones. So we are going to be looking at different irregular rules, but some of the words that have that consonant or vowel changes irregularly, some of them regularly, and I'll be showing you how you can know on your own when you learn a new language okay a new a new word not a whole new language okay as for korea wi-fi really is fast how would we make this sentence now so korean and another language is japanese that allow double subjects two subjects can come because there is a topic marker right so for example the first subject the more general topic umbrella topic we use un so we start with un right let me talk about korea so you go 한국은 as for korea an actual subject of this adjective comes with ika after as for Korea, when it comes to Korea, Wi-Fi is really fast. You'll say, let's say it out loud all together. Read it where you are. Wi-Fi가 진짜 or 엄청. Of course, there are other ones. 빨라요. 한국은 Wi-Fi가 진짜 빨라요. 엄청 빨라요. Okay, so that's how you would use this in a sentence. Okay, so you add one more lil underneath and change to la if there is a bright vowel beforehand or change it to la if there is no bright vowel. Okay, 네, 한국은 와이파이가 진짜 빨라요. 좋아요. Now, now this is called tigud to tigud irregular. So tita to listen. Okay. You would have changed to oyo, right? Because you do not see a or o bright vowel, so it's other vowel u. 
So we change ta to o. Okay. 드더요. But we do not say 드더요. We say 들어요. So the rule is 디귿 underneath here in the last syllable of a stem changes to 리읏. And then you put o or a based on this rule still. 들어요. Okay. Uh, 배안님 are 진짜 and 엄청 interchangeable in a way. Yes. Both are used in spoken language. Okay. You do not use them in writings. They are too casual. So they are similar in that way too. 강인님 놀러오세요에서 놀러는 이 규칙. Oh, it's actually a different conjugation. It's a, it's a 으로 in order to do something. So in order to hang out, please come here. So it's 으로 ending, not, not ending. It's not even an ending. It's an ending of the word, but not sentence ending. Okay, 마르코님 again. Yes, not all of them change. I'm going to talk about it. Aha, uh -huh. 한국은 okay. So 들어요. Let's do this. I every day K-pop listen. I listen to K-pop every day. As uh, like Marukunim said. Not all of the irregular verbs change irregularly. So you kind of have to learn individually which ones change irregularly and which ones change regularly. And I'll put up a, a web browser and show you how you can find it on your own. Okay, 저는 매일 K-pop을 들어요. Or, if you want to make it not polite to friends, 나는 매일 K-pop 들어. In conversations, we drop the particles a lot, right? 나 매일 K-pop 들어. Just fine. 저 매일 K-pop 들어요. Just fine. Or, if it's obvious it, you're talking about yourself, you don't even have to say 나. 매일 K-pop 들어요. So it depends on the context. Do you have to say you're talking about me if there are many, many people? Or just you are talking with another person and it's obvious you're talking about yourself. It depends. But look at this. Um, if you look at the dictionary, Korean dictionary in Naver, website. So for example, you put 듣다 already there. Okay. And if you put 듣다, it'll give you options. And when you look up, you get this pronunciation first, right? 듣다. And you can of course check the pronunciation. And here you see application, which means conjugation, how you apply conjugation or how you apply this word in uh, sentences. So it gives you how you conjugate it. 들어, right? 들어, 들으니, 들으니. So you know this one changes to 리을. But to receive 받다, if you click on receive, you see the pronunciation first of all. And then look at the application. It gives how it changes. 받아, this one now does not change. Right? So when you look up yourself and you know if it's regular or irregular, you can use the dictionary. Okay? So use that. Link is naver.com, naver dictionary. Okay. 
I can put the Naver dictionary link, but it's basically the Naver.com dictionary. Okay, so that's it. shouldn't be to listen. There was like some error in saving files today. So Natta is not listen. Natta is to get better. Let's look at shield irregular. Arishan님 안녕하세요. Is there a good way to remember by myself which are with real and which aren't? So basically, again, there's no really a rule. Some are irregular, some are regular, but you use either the dictionary or most commonly used words, right? To listen, 듣다, to walk, 걷다. These both change to 리을, so 들어. And to walk, 걸어. Okay. These are most commonly uh, used ones for irregular. And for regular, that doesn't change, we use a lot is again to receive. 받다, 선물 받았어요. I received a gift. Or to close. 닫아요. You go to a store or restaurant and you want to ask, when do you close? When do you guys close? When? 언제? And you'll say, 닫아요. 언제 닫아요? When are you closing? Uh, 시원님, 좋아요. To believe somebody or to trust somebody. 믿다. This one also stays in 디귿. And we say, 믿어요. I believe you. 나, 나는, 너, 믿어. Okay. So basically, yes, uh, 강인님 said, 연습 많이 하면 익숙해질 거예요. When you practice a lot, it'll, you'll get familiar with it. So you can kind of want to use them and get exposure to them. So it kind of re, uh, remains in your memory in a way too. 네, 닫다 is literally too close. 안녕하세요, 언니. 안녕하세요, 드렌님. So, 문 닫아. Close the door. It's cold. Oh, 추워. 문 닫아. So, that's the most commonly words I get. Used words. Alright, now, uh, let's look at 낫다. 여러분, 죄송해요. I'm sorry. There are errors in the file. I must have done something wrong. Uh, not listen. This means to get well or to be better. So this one actually has two actually has two words. Oh no. There. Uh, one is adjective to be better. This is better than that. Second meaning is to get well you're sick please get well soon that get well is a verb there are two different meanings and this one is called shield irregular okay so we're looking at another irregular words before i move on uh, 안개님, 감사합니다. another word for tigut irregular that's commonly used to ask 묻다, 맞아요. 묻다, to ask a question. 물어, 물어요. But this is used a lot with 물어봐요. Try ask. 물어보세요, ask me. Alright. 조나스님, 이제 가고 점심 먹어야 돼요. You have to go eat lunch. 감사합니다. Thank you for coming. Have a good lunch. 점심 맛있게 드세요. Uh, okay, so other questions I'll answer when we do Q&A session. All right, so for shield one, first of all, we see ah, right? So we will change ta to ah. 
but instead of 나 사요, it becomes 나 아요. 나 아요. This one as well, 여러분. Let me show you again. If you go to uh, dictionary and you put 낫다, right? And then, 낫다, and then you click on the Korean dictionary and it gives application here. 나 or 나은이. So you know this one uh, changes irregularly. 괜찮아요? Can you think of any words that uh, doesn't change irregularly? Let me change this one. And then I'll bring it up again. So that's how you can use a uh, dictionary on your own. Nayo. Okay. So that da but shio drops and it becomes nayo. Nayo. So what if you wanna your friend's sick? Okay? And you wanna say, oh hey you, get well soon. In English too, when you give a command, we do not say you sit down, right? You just say sit down. Same thing. So when you are giving a command in the imperative command sentence type, we do not say you. We just say what you want them to do. So soon, quickly, now is 빨리. So that's the difference between 빨리 and 빨라요. 빨라요 is a verb adjective. It comes at the end of the sentence. 빨리 is an adverb that comes before another verb or adjective. So 빨리 나, get well soon. 빨리 나, 나요. And we want more examples. And 강인님 just typed in live chat the example that I wanted to introduce. Another commonly used word that has shield underneath is putta. And this one has two meanings, either to pour water into something, putta, or when your face is swollen, to swell up, putta. This one is also irregular. Okay, so we delete ta and shio disappears and we put puoyo. Wait, Sansingnim, don't we have to combine u and o and becomes puoyo? No, because the dictionary form wasn't u. Dictionary form had shio underneath. Okay, so it just stays in puoyo. You're making cup noodles. 컵라면 먹어요. And you say, oh, pour water. 물 부어, 물. 물 부어. 물 부어요. In the morning, my face is always swollen. Then you can say, 아침에. In the morning, face, 얼굴이 부어요. 저는 아침에 얼굴이 부어요. Mm, my face doesn't. 저는 얼굴 안 부어요. So 부어요 is another word that you use. And 시옷 disappears. But remember I said not all the uh, irregular verbs change irregularly. There is a commonly used word that has 시옷 underneath. But it does not change irregularly. To smile, to laugh. 웃다. Right? When you say smile, it's just 웃어. 웃어. 
smile. In K dramas, you hear this all the time. Why are you smiling? Why are you laughing? You think I'm funny? We uso? We uso? Another one, Mariko Nim put, 벗어요, to take off. So when we put on, we have different words for head, foot, clothes, accessories, right? To take off, it's one word, 벗다, it's 벗어, 벗어요. Oh, it's so hot. Take off your jacket. Jacket 벗어. 더워. Okay. <laughs> Kangin Nim gave good example of an irregular and regular. 부으면, if you get swollen. 씻으세요. Wash your face or take a shower. Wash yourself. So to wash is 씻다. And this one is just also 씻어. Again, use the dictionary. Usually English dictionary on neighbor doesn't seem to do the same thing. So if you know the Korean word, put in Korean dictionary and that should show you the application like I showed you earlier. This, I think you guys know a lot. Um, underneath. To be spicy. Oh, Glory Nim asked, and what is to wear? Actually, that's another peep word. So I will introduce when we talk about this one right now. Okay, wait a little bit. Bepta to be spicy, right? So first of all, you look at the stem. There's no a or o. It's another other vowels. We put o. So it's me bo me bo yo, but. We do not end there. This is also irregular. So, p changes to u before ing. So here, there is ing in o and a. So it changes to u. So instead of map, we will be working with me u. And then you put o that we had o earlier. Me u plus o. And me woyo, which sounds like me woyo. So u plus a becomes wa, right? So it's me woyo. How would you say Korean food is uh, spicy? Don't look at this one yet. We'll go there. To start, Korean food is spicy. We say 한국 음식은 매워요. 한국 음식 매워요. And you want to continue. But it's delicious. 네, 한국 음식 shorten 에나님 한식. 좋아요. 한식은 매워요. And now, if you want to add conjunction, transition words, you put at the end of another sentence. Right? So, but, 그런데, now it's the same subject. You don't really say it again. Okay, you now just say, Oh, 맛있어요. 한식은 매워요. 그런데 맛있어요. 너무너무 매워요, 배안님? 너무너무 매워요? 맛있어요. So this is, 아이고, 비읍 irregular. Uh, you know a lot of words, actually, that has this. Beep underneath and changes to uh, curry. Curry is spicy. Curry is spicy. 맞아요. Cute. 귀엽다. To be cute, right? We delete 다. And this beep changes to 우. And then we put all. Yo, 귀여워요. Oh, 귀여워. So cute. 귀여워요. Another one. So then you guys have enough practice. To be hot. Oh, weather hot. Not object hot. Object or water is another word. 뜨겁다. Okay. 
air, 덥다. object or water, 뜨겁다. 네? 물, 뜨겁다. 음식, food, 뜨겁다. 네? air, 덥다. 날씨, weather, 덥다. So we delete 다. Right? And this b changes to 우. So 더 우. 뜨거 우. And then we put 어. Which becomes 워. So that's why we say 더워. Or 뜨거워. Have you heard people saying 아 뜨거. 아 뜨거. Cooking and you touch it. 아 뜨거. That's this 아 뜨거워. Instead of saying it at all, people just like 아 뜨거. 아리샤님 맵지만. 지만 doesn't have 이응. So I'll have another video. But for 지만, it's just 맵지만. Dictionary form. 아기 곰은 너무 귀여워. 맞아요. 곰세 마리. Song. 노래. 티치님 오늘은 일찍 가야 되는데요. 오늘도 가르쳐 주셔서 감사합니다. 네, 저도 감사합니다. 티치님 안녕히 가세요. 오케이, okay, 오늘 너무 더워요. It's really hot there. 좋아요. 어, 마르코님, why does 아름답다, beautiful, conjugate to 아름다워, but 돕다, conjugate to 도와요, right? When do, don't we have to match with 아? That's weird too. Um, old days, you heard people, oh, 아름다워, too. To matching bright vowels with bright vowels. But then it just became one rule. But there are two things that has that bright vowel rule. 돕다, to help. And 곱다, this doesn't translate into English. 곱다 is when something is very pretty but like the color is very uh pretty flower colors are very pretty make you smile or somebody uh speaks in a very nice manner that makes you smile we say 곱다 and these ones first of all 다 disappears and we change to 우 no these ones we change to 오 to match 오 O. Probably this O matching with O is affecting it. So, 도와요. 고와요. That's why we hear, we hear, 도와주세요. Please help me. Oh, 너무 고와요. You are like a flower. But 아름답다, we just follow 아름다워. That's just how language changes. But old days, you would have heard 아름다워 as well. Bright vowels matching bright vowels. But this one kind of overrules everything for most of the words. Okay, so that's the end of the... Um, 아이고? End of the irregular words. Now, questions? 질문 있어요? 질문 있으세요? Regarding this irregular ones that we are looking at right now or any other questions? So uh, again, if you are confused, is it irregular? Or is it regular, right? Use the Korean dictionary and it'll tell you how it's conjugated. I'll put the Korean, neighbor Korean dictionary uh, link in the description of this live video. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And these irregular ones, uh, the 받침, like how 디귿 changes to 리을, you know, 시옷 drops, and 비읍 changes to 우, right? These ones are only irregular 
only after, I mean, not after, before ying. So, like, o ayo or ul koyo. Okay? But if it's coming with other endings like ko and or chiman, but however, these ones don't have yung, right? So they do not change. They stay. That's why earlier Arisha Nim, Arisha Mensurun Nim uh, said Hansigun Bewo Jiman Mashisoyo. There Bepta this B of stays because G does not have E. So you just say 맵지만 맛있어요. Same. How about 부럽다? Good question. I envy you. I am envious of somebody. 부럽다. That also changes this B of irregular, right? 부럽다. We delete ta first of all. And then this piup changes to u. And then we put oh, 부러워, I envy you. 부러워요. Oh, 나 한국 가. I'm going to Korea. Oh, 부러워. But sometimes you hear people just saying, oh, 부럽다. Right? Or somebody eats something and go, oh, 맛있다. Oh, 예쁘다. Well, 선생님, you said we can't use dictionary forms, but those are dictionary forms. Uh, it's actually plain speech level. The least polite ending of Korean, right? And in plain speech level, the adjectives are the same as dictionary forms. That's why. People are using in that uh, plain speech level because you are just responding. Like you're not really talking to the other person necessarily. So you just use plain speech level, not being polite to anybody. So that's why you sometimes hear dictionary forms. Okay. Uh, 시끄럽다 conjugates regularly to... No, it doesn't. 시끄럽다 is 시끄럽 we change this 비읍 to 우 and then oh 시끄러워 you're so loud oh 시끄러워 it's so noisy loud 시끄러워 okay uh 배안님 do you have tips to increase my listening skills uh, listening skills, I do think you just have to expose yourself. But, you know, when you're a really beginner, dramas are too difficult in a way because people are talking in regular uh, speed. So if you can find some listening practice, a lot of textbooks come with audio file and they modify the speed so it's easier to listen. I have listening vlogs too. I have a playlist of Korean listening and I usually say slower for beginning level and a little faster with more complicated sentence structure for intermediate. So use the listening resources for the learners first. And if you listen to K-pop, K-pop 들어요? 그럼 K-pop 들어요. 그리고 lyrics 봐요. You can look at the lyrics and listen and match, you know, the spelling with the sound. Start with the easier ones and then add vocabulary, learn grammar. So when you hear it, you know what they are talking about. When you watch Korean dramas, you like the drama, you watched it with English or your language subtitles. Watch it again with Korean subtitles. So then you can see exactly what they are saying. And then watch it again with no subtitles. Okay. Uh, Anna Nim, 그럼 는데, 부러운데, why is it changing when it doesn't have 이응, you mean, right? So 는데 form has two conjugation rules. Adjectives are 
unde, actually. Consonant needs un, vowel, you don't need un, you just put ni and underneath. And verbs are nunde. I have uh, videos about this uh, one. I think these are most popular videos, so it should be easy for you to find on my channel. So, 부럽다 is adjective. So, we follow this one. And there is 이응, right? So, that's why. Okay, we delete 다. We change to 비읍 to 우, first of all, because it has 이응 in there. And then now it ends with the vowel. We just put ni underneath, 부러운데. That's why. Okay. Can you give a few examples of 지만 in presence of 이응? 지만 doesn't have 이응 in it. So I can't put presence of 이응 in there. 지만 ending does not have 이응. So these do not change. They just stay in dictionary form. 안녕하세요, 할시님. 아칸샤님, uh, should we prefer the 무 or 부 pronunciation for words like sorry? It's 무. Again, I, I don't like romanization. If you're learning Korean, please learn 한글. I think I said this already. It's Korean alphabet 미, which is 무, not 부. If somebody is saying it somehow a little with a little more air, it might sound a little like 부, but it's 무. That's why I don't think you should be romanizing it because it's not really answering any of your questions if you are romanizing it. 읽다, how 읽다 changes. Same thing. 읽어요. And now when you pronounce it, 일, and this second one is carried away, uh, carried by this 이응. So 읽어, 읽어, same thing. Uh, this is pronunciation, this is spelling, 읽어. 배님, 어, 아니에요. 마르코님, can we interchange 천천히 and 느리게? 천, 느리게 말해주세요. 천천히 말해주세요. 음, 말을 천천히 해요. 말을 느리게 해요. It is interchangeable, I would say. 느리게가 천천히가. But when the certain action, right, is carried out in a slower speed, we say 천천히. Go slowly, 천천히가. Please speak slowly, 천천히 말해주세요. So that action is being a little slower. 느리게 has a, a wider time window. So 느려요, somebody is slow as in like they don't rush. You know, they just like take their time. So it's a manner or feel of it. Uh, how I can improve my reading skills? I read so slow. You just have to read more. Um, don't even try to read like authentic materials until you are intermediate or whatever. If you use Korean textbooks, any textbooks, they all come with narrations and reading passages. Read them. Read them out loud. Uh, break them down and then read them not out loud like how you would read in a you know more cognitively developed manner. So read it repeatedly and then write maybe if you want to write a journal too. Uh, can you recommend a drama for beginners? Uh, 여러분, do you have drama recommendations? Of course, not medical dramas, not crime dramas. Watch something that's more in daily setting. Uh, recently, it depends on your personal taste, but True Beauty was really popular. And although I am a little too old to like be as excited for the topic itself, the family interaction, the family was hilarious. And 
you know, it's all like what happens in school, what happens in family. So it's a real life conversation. So something like that will help. Because you'll hear daily actions, daily routines being talked about. Um, Arisha님, I wanted to know the exact meaning of 담다 and 비슷하다 and 같다. Are they all have the meanings like same and similar? Uh, 천천히 and 느리게, let me look up the dictionary real quick, okay? Uh, 담다. is to resemble one person or one thing looks like the other person so we use a lot like 저는 엄마 닮았어요 I resemble my mom I look like my mom 저는 아빠 닮았어요 uh, it's a verb to resemble and when you say I look like my dad it happened when I was born right so we use it in the past tense and 여러분 because now that you know this oyo ayo, past tense is super easy. Look, you change to a, ah, 닮아, right? If you want to make a past tense of this, you just put double shield, sang shield underneath, and oh. You want to make it polite, then put yo, 닮았어요. That's how we make past tense. We said 읽어 to read. In the non-polite form, without you, we put double shield underneath and all. 읽었어, I read. So this double shield underneath and all <laughs> is how you can change pa present tense to past tense. So I resembled my mom and dad. 닮았어요. 비슷하다 is similar. 비슷하다. 한국하고 어. Where where is similar? 일본하고 비슷해요? 한국하고 중국하고 비슷해요? 한국하고 이탈리아하고 비슷해요? Similar. 같다 is same. How to say Mr. Mrs. Missing Korea? So doesn't matter. Gender is not very important in Korean language. You know Korean nouns don't have gender we don't really use he she much uh you just ref uh use their social position so if they are a teacher 선생님 if they're professors 교수님 uh if they are ceos 대표님 if they are owner of a restaurant or a company 사장님 uh if they are driver you're in a taxi Driver is 기사, so 기사님. So 님 makes honoring the other person's position, basically. That's what you will do. We don't really use Mr. Mrs. Miss. Ping Lim Nim, 안녕하세요. Thank you. This was very useful. 감사합니다. 저도 감사합니다. 시원님, uh, no matter what drama is famous among beginners, do, 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 do. the word and come wayo wayo to come is oda o so there is bright vowel o then we match with bright vowel wayo same thing as to see to look poda so there is o we match with a Pwayo. Drama, pwayo. Hanguk drama, pwayo. Okay. Uh, I see you are all recommending dramas. I also think the record of youth, uh, the one Akan Shanim said, and True Beauty, those ones are good to learn panmal. The non-polite endings, casual non-polite endings that you use with friends, those ones are good to learn those thing, those endings as well. 조용히 and 조용하게. Marco님's question. So to make adjectives into adverbs. There are two ways in Korean. Once when you put 
like e or he kind of ending. The other is ago. The other is you put k. Okay. Uh, there's still gonna be confusing examples, but k basically is how how the verb is done. Okay. How the person is doing it. He or he is a result, basically. But there are in you know there are overlapping and weird situations too. So with COVID, we talk about wash your hands clean, right? Cleanly. So to be clean is kekutada. So you can change this kekutada adjective into adverb in two ways. You can either say kekushi or kekutage. All right. So you use both actually. Wash your hands clean. We use both kekushi hand son son kekushi shiso to friends. To make comments politely, we use 으세요 form. So, 씻으세요. If you say 손 깨끗이 씻으세요, it becomes hand ends up being clean. Okay, it's a result. If you say 손 깨끗하게 씻으세요, wash it and that washing action should be done in cleanly way. Like to make it clean. So, you use both, right? You use 개. You hear K more as in like, oh, enjoy the video, you know, enjoy the video and hopefully it's fun. We say, I am typing in live chat, everyone. 재미있게 보세요. You're watching it and that action of watching is carried out in fun mood. That's what it is. Please eat deliciously. So enjoy your food. 맛있게 먹어. You're eating. And that action of eating is carried like, mm, 맛있어, 맛있어, in that mood. Then we use, 아이고, I said 맛있어 먹어. Sorry. 맛있게 먹어. Okay, 재미있게 보세요. 맛있게 먹어. Uh, your friends are going somewhere. And you're not. Have fun. You say 재미있게 놀아. 놀, 놀아, to hang out, uh, and hang out in a manner that it's fun. 재미있게 놀아. So you use K. It's very different from English adverbs, actually. So what's the difference between 조용히, 조용하게? So 조용히 is the result of your action. It's like adverb. But 조용하게 is how you are doing that action. So if you want to say, please be quiet, we use both. 조용히 해주세요. You do this action of shushing and it becomes quiet. Or 조용하게 해주세요 means you're doing something. But do that action quietly. Okay? So 조용히 하세요 is be quiet. As a result, it becomes quiet. Be quiet. 조용하게 하세요 becomes you're doing something, like either talking or uh, fixing computer, you're doing something, and do that action in a quiet manner. Don't make much sound when you do that action. So, K is how you do that action. Uh, e or he is the result. Okay. Um, what if we don't know someone's position, Peyanim said? You don't just say anything. Just don't say anything. A lot of times, you know, pronouns are not used often in Korean, right? And you don't really call others either. Even for Koreans, it's tricky because, you know, you don't know their position. Are they older than me? Are they not older than me? Are they like lower in the position in this company? Or are they high? You don't know. So, so then you just don't really call them. You just go close and then say something. So Korean people have to do all these tricks because it's confusing for Korean people as well. And it's like, hmm, 
you know, usually in companies, you see they have this like ID as a necklace, and you see, you know, what's their position? Oh, it says, 부장님, okay. Oh, 부장님. Mm, it says, 대리님. Oh, 대리님. So it's, Koreans have to play the game as well. Uh, 시원님, 선생님, 언제 밥을 먹으러 나갑니까? When, I, when am I going out to eat? Or are you asking when am I gonna eat now? If you're asking when we are, when I am going to eat now, 선생님, 언제 밥 먹으러 갑니까? Just 가다, to go. When are you going to go eat? If you want me to talk about dining out, going to the restaurant, then you say 나가다, for eating. 강인님, 저는 면접할 때 in the interview, 면접자가 앞으로 보세요 말씀하시기 들어요. 지금까지 어떻게 해야 할지 몰랐어요. 보다가 uh, So during the interview, the interviewer says please look ahead. You heard that? You didn't know what you're supposed to do because 보다 has two meanings. Is that what you're trying to say? 네, 보다는 to look 돼요, to watch drama, movie도 돼요. 그리고 to see도 돼요. So all these are 보다 in Korean. 아칸샤님, so if you ask something to the stranger, you gotta be formal. 네. Uh, formal is not the best way to put it. Polite. So polite endings, we have 씁니다, like 반갑습니다, 감사합니다, 고맙습니다. All those greetings are in the 씁니다 form, which is polite, okay? That's the most polite. And that's formal as well. So you do not hear people talking 씁니다 all the time. You, you sound like a military, uh, in the military or in the news, okay? Uh, 어요 아요 is also polite. It's still polite to the listener, but it's casual. So people mix 씁니다 and 어요 아요 form a lot. Um, so you use these two if you're talking to the stranger. Yes. Uh, how 놀다 changes? To hang out, 놀아요. It's just regular. 놀아, 놀아요. Dolda, Norayo. That's it. Uh, what is the she in Hashigesnida? All right, so I have a video about this. Um, I think it's one of the top videos in grammar. In thumbnail, you see 으세요 versus 어요. So that video talks about that, uh, Marco님. So there is verb stem, and you put this 으시, and then you put other endings. That 으시 is called subject honorifics. So, you know, we have subject and object and verb. So we are honoring this subject. So who we are talking about. I'm talking about my mom. I'm talking about my grandma, somebody older than me, or my teacher, professors, uh, or my, you know, boss. Then I'll put she if the subject is that person who's somebody older and higher than me. So 하시겠습니다 is 하다 to do plus she honoring whoever the subject is. And get is will, intention. 씁니다, the most formal way. So of course this one is often used with um, other polite endings as well. So you will be doing this, please, in the most formal and polite way. Uh, Arisha님, 보다 is also used for test exam. Yes, you look at the test and then solve it. 
시험봐요시험잘봐요시험잘보세요소피님 Can we call middle age woman a j u m a Is it appropriate? Do you wanna be called middle aged woman or man? Would you be happy if somebody called you? Oh, she looks middle aged woman. He looks like a middle aged man. So it's similar. <laughs> And a j u m a a j o s h i has a connotation. Usually it's married middle aged person. And of course, people are not going to be very happy. That's why in Korean shows, if you watch them, guys are so happy if, you know, other idol members call them oppa instead of a j o s h i The other day, my friend's daughters called me onni instead of imo. <laughs> imo is, you know, mom's sister, onni is their sister. Like, and people's reaction will be like, oh, thank you, you know. So, ajumma, of course, people want, don't want to be called ajumma. I call my friend's mom ajumma because we grew up, right? We were kids and they were o m m a s age. So, we called each other's mom ajumma. Uh, so, you use that. But when you see somebody in the public place, you don't know their age, uh, go with. Their position and assume higher. So if you're at a restaurant, at a store, you need a you know you need attention from somebody. You can call 사장님, Miss, Mrs. Ms. Mr. Owner, even if they're not the owner of the restaurant, because you don't know. You don't want to assume the other person is not the owner when they are actually an owner, right? So play it safe. Uh, call them higher than lower instead of ajumma a j a s h i So that's why I said earlier if you are in a cab, taxi, kisa nim, kisa is driver, you put nim, kisa nim. At our store, s a j a n g nim, or c h o g i o excuse me. So you don't really have to say exactly what they are. Because if you're just getting an attention at a store, you'll say, 저기요. That's it. No? Uh, what's the difference between 지다 and 나다 ending? 지다, are you talking about after adjectives? Like 좋아, 좋아지다. So when we say 좋아, it's good, right? 좋아지다 is to become good, to become better. 날씨가 좋아졌어요. The weather became better. It was raining, but it got, it got clearer and sunny. 좋아졌어요. I didn't used to like something and it grew on me. It became good to me. 좋아졌어요. Uh, 나다 끝나다? You mean? Or 나다? 나다 literally means to occur or to happen. So accident happens. 사고가 나다. Uh, sweat, 땀, 네, 피, 땀, 눈물, all 나다. 피 나다, sweat, I mean, blood, 땀 나다, sweat, 눈물이 나다, 나다, is that word. So 끝나다, to end, is good, is the end. The end occurs, 끝나다. Yeah. 핑님, you're welcome, 아니에요. 강인님, 예능 프로그램에 lyrics guessing game 있죠? 한국인한테도 한국어 듣기가 어려워 보여요. 네, uh, especially like the rap music and like super fast, you know, idol music. It is hard, you know, in your own language too. When songs are really fast, it's hard for native speakers to hear exactly what it says too. Same thing with drama sometimes. Uh, Akansha님, actually I hear... Upa using being used differently at the time it's confusing what actually so Upa because it's an older brother but not as old as a j o s h i guys like to be called Upa and of course sometimes it comes with Egyo so that's why you probably will see some Korean YouTubers saying don't say Upa unless it's appropriate context Again, if it's a formal setting, you are at a company, you use the other person's position, right? On the street, 
You're not gonna call somebody, hey, you're my older brother, bro, or you're my older sister. You don't even know them, so you're not gonna do that, right? If you're close, and your school friends or childhood friends like they are like oppa to you, onni to you, then you use oppa and onni. Uh, it's very normal in Korea to address someone by their name. What if I am a student in a university and I am new there, so it's difficult to remember everyone's name, especially other Korean classmates. Ask. 죄송한데, I'm sorry, but 어, 성함이, 어, 이름이, or 성함이 어떻게 되죠? 되셨죠? 성함이 어떻게 되셨죠? 성함 is honorific for 이름, name. 어, 뭐예요? Honorific is 어떻게 돼요? So, 이름이 뭐예요? In more honorific way, is 성함이 어떻게 되세요? Just ask name. Or, again, Koreans, you know, it's tricky for Koreans to know which one to use so people don't call each other. <laughs> Just skip that part. Just get close and ask a question. Or ask their name. Say, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, you know. Um, so, there, 그럼 떨어졌어는 became fallen, 네, so it become, became one word, okay, uh, but that, that one is more like, because it's not an adjective, right, 떨어지다 is a verb, action verb to fall, so it's just one word. When we say, when I said 좋아, 좋아지다, it's for adjectives. When you want to say something becomes that adjective, then we use 어아지다. 추워, cold. 추워졌어요, it became cold. 어, 더워, 더워졌어요, it already got hot where I live. You know, 인도는 더워졌어요, in India it's already hot, it became hot. Then you say 더워졌어요, but 떨어졌어요 is just one word, a verb. Uh, Jennifer Jin TV, -님, awesome teacher. Oh, 감사합니다. Marco님 하는 거 하기 함 similar, similar and different. I actually have a video for Instagram about this that I'll be posting um, either today even or Monday. I give myself weekend off. But 하는 것 is most general. I'll say that's the safest to use. Okay? 하는 것 is either the fact that blah 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 or the act of ing. And that's the most generally neutrally used. Safe, use that one. Hanin call. Ha ki is. So ha ki and ham are changing the verbs itself as a noun. Okay? Hanin call is actually a noun modifying form, it's a chunk of a phrase. And ha ki and ham difference is ki is prospective. The action didn't happen yet. Okay, so you use it for bucket list, to-do list, resolution, promise. 꼭 오기, oh, promise me you'll come, but that's in the future, right? And then you are making a to-do list. 청소하기, clean, you know? Uh, 숙제하기, do homework. Whereas, Ham, when you put m underneath the vowel, um, uh, that's past, retrospective. That action is done already. So when you give a presentation on PowerPoint, people use um ending because you already found out. It's the findings that you already did find, right, in the past. So we use ham. So that's the difference. But most generally use ningo. And of course, there are fixed phrases, phrases that you use key. Then I will upload that video. 네, 가야 돼요. Do you watch Running Man? Yes, every single episode. Running Man 좋아요. Uh, 이제 가야 돼요. Yeah, it's been an hour and and half. So let's go, everyone. 가요. 우리 가요. Uh, 나이가 이름보다 중요한 것 같아요. Age seems more important than their names. Yes, when you're calling 
uh, the other person. I agree. Yes, in Korea. Until you become friends and know each other's name, basically. All right. The pronunciation of 감사합니다 is 감사합니다. 네, it's hard to say 감사합니다, right? Uh, because there's new sound that's nasal. B underneath becomes nasal. So m, 감사합니다. That's why it's nasalization. All right, 여러분. <laughs> I think it's time we go. I am going to take one year, oh, not one year, one week break, not that entire year. <laughs> one week break next week. There will be no live next week. Um, I'll be preparing uh, intermediate series. You know, this was total beginning from Hangul to pronunciation and oyo ayo, right? So then you can say simple things in Korean. You're off the ground. But now I'm gonna have a series of a little like higher than this, either high, high beginning or low intermediate kind of lesson. I'll be posting on community uh, a poll asking which endings, which intermediate grammar uh, patterns you want me to teach live. So check out my community post and give me the input and request, okay? So that's the plan. Next week, I'm not here. Uh, I will have Q&A lives, okay, just for Q&A. So let's keep the questions for those Q&A sessions. And another thing is I'm going to try a different time for Q&A live because, you know, I'm missing out people in the Pacific. <laughs> it's really late in Australia. It's almost too early in Hawaii and all, and it's still early in Pacific time zone as well. So I'll try different times. So pay attention to what time it's going to be. So that's it. 네, 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. 어, 잠시만요. I saw, I saw this question earlier. 전서연님. So let me answer this question. Teacher, as I told you, I started learning Korean a year ago. K, uh, K, that's K, English K sound. And L, L, L. Please watch my uh, consonant video. If you go to my live playlist, you'll see the first week of this series. It'll say live series week one consonants. And I show you what to do with the speech organ to make those sounds. I think that'll help you in more detailed way. Okay? P, R, K. So, lu, 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 la, 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 lu, 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 lu. It's like muddy, muddy. Butter, r, that r sound. Or in Italian, Spanish, uh, Korea. What, what, is, what else is there? I can't even think about anything else right now it's been too long so that Kamsamnida, <laughs> 감사합니다 네 don't forget to give me a thumbs up like 좋아요 해주세요 okay then I'll see you in two weeks and you'll see my community post asking what kind of intermediate grammar point you want me to cover. So answer to that poll. 안겔님, 저도 감사합니다. How do you join my Patreon? Uh, if you go to my channel, home, you'll see my Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook icon. Or patreon.com slash Korean Dream with J. It's actually linked in the description right now in this video. Look at the description. There is a link. There are three different tiers and you see which one fits you the best. Okay. Uh, Ping Lim Nim, Ikko Itton. Isn't that from uh, the drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay? Isn't that the children's song? I have a video about it, right? I think it's one of the most popular videos. So, 
the little boy, Sunyeon, was wearing this mask, Kamyeon, that was smiley. There is a special position of ku to pronounce it as ku. No, you don't pronounce it as ku. It's ku. It's English K. It's not gu sound. Ku sound is regular this. And ku sound is this. Okay. All right. So it's been one hour and almost 40 minutes, everyone. <laughs> so I will go. Uh, I'll have another... Uh, Q and A live separately. So you, if I didn't answer your questions today, if you need to ask it again, let's do it uh, in a separate Q and A live, and I'll also come with other intermediate level classes. Okay. 감사합니다. Thank you for coming. 와 주셔서 감사합니다. 안녕. 다음에 봐요. I'll see you next time.